Shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that the Nintendo Switch is the modern console that I play the most, because every month I look for five fantastic hidden gems that you guys can score for under 25 bucks. This month, we've got a wide variety of titles from a bunch of different genres. Let's get over to the Switch right now and take a look. I love the idea that we live in an age where digital archaeology is a thing, where we are finding games long lost, thought to be gone, and we're bringing them forward into the modern day. This is Clockwork Aquario. This was supposed to be the last arcade game developed by Westone. If you don't know who Westone is, that's the Wonder Boy team. This was being developed in 1992. It wasn't getting a lot of traction. It got canceled, but it's back from the dead, and that is so cool. And not only is it back from the dead, like, it is back from the dead and finished almost 30 years after it was initially developed. Now, this is like classic arcade side-scrolling action. This feels like a long-lost classic arcade game. And if you dig arcade games, this game is for you. The graphics in the game look fantastic. You have three different characters you're able to choose from. And the gameplay is deceptively simple. You're running, jumping, picking up enemies, and throwing them and trying to rack up a score multiplier. That's it. That's the entire purpose of the game. And there's boss fights at the end of every level, like there is in every good arcade game. It's just, it's such a charming throwback to what classic arcade games were back in the early 90s. It's really easy to pick up and play. It's difficult to master, which is a really nice thing, so you're going to be challenged as you play. And it's just, look, it's just an awesome game. And I'm just talking about the single player experience so far, but don't overlook the fact that you can actually play this multiplayer with up to three players at the same time. It's just... It's such a wonderful arcade experience. I, I know I keep saying that repeatedly, but I can't stress enough how much fun this is and how much it feels like you're in an arcade back in the early 90s. There's all kinds of cool stuff in here. There's a gallery with concept art and other goodies in here as well. Clockwork Aquario is normally $19.99. It's currently on sale for $11.99. And if you love classic arcade action, this game is a must buy. I blame the Walt Disney Corporation for my lifelong obsession with pirates and piracy, and I have had my eyes on King of Seas from Team 17 for a very long time. This game originally released last May, so for a year I've had this on my wish list, just waiting, biding my time to pick it up, and it has finally gone on sale, and it is not disappointed in the slightest. You play as the child of the king who was murdered while you were away on your first test mission to become a member of the Royal Navy. And as such, you have been set to piracy. You have been rescued by a group of pirates, and it is up to you to clear your name and keep sailing the seven seas under the black flag and the skull and crossbones. King of the Seas is an action role-playing game, and the world is procedurally generated, which is kind of crazy when you feel how big it is as you are playing. The game is ambitious, to say the least. The story is great, the characterizations are hilarious, there's great artwork throughout, but the game itself is super ambitious. Everything reacts to what you do. Ships will change their routes based on what parts of the world you have conquered or what ports you have taken over. Weather in the game will affect the sailing ability. You will have monsters appear in certain places. There are all kinds of things just all over the map that you're able to discover, like special fishing areas or treasure that has been thrown overboard. The game is incredible. If you sail in a storm, for example, you are going to run the risk of being run aground or taking damage to your ship. You're going to be able to trade throughout as you play and completely update the economy based on what you move around on what ships you're carrying. The game is just incredible. And of course, it's a pirate game. What would it be without treasure maps? I really, truly enjoy this game. It's just a brilliant brilliant game. It's a really intelligent take on a pirate game that I haven't seen done since Sid Meier's Pirates back on the Amiga, so this one is great. King of Seas is normally $24.99, although right now it is on sale for $9.99, so if you are lucky enough to find this one on sale, be sure to pick it up. I love discovering games that are clearly passion projects for a person, like Stardew Valley for Confused Ape. And this here is just such a game. This is Dungeons of Dreadrock, and this was developed by Professor Dr. Christoph Minnemeyer in Germany. This game is so incredible. It's like one part classic dungeon crawler, one part Crypt of the Necro Dancer, and it is just, oh, it's so smart. So it's really a puzzle game. 
Now I look at it, I look at it from the top down and I see a dungeon crawler with cool D&D monsters and fun combat experiences and cool mysteries to solve. But at the end of the day, what this is, is a classic puzzle game. You are going to be moving around, trying to figure out how to work your way through particular levels, backtracking where necessary, and finding just incredible puzzles that you need to solve to be able to proceed through the hundred levels of this game. There is just such a refreshing way that this game plays. It's fast, it's fluid, it's simple. You don't feel the need to invest hundreds of hours into playing it. You just can play one level if you want. You can play 30 levels if you want. It's just something where you're able to dive in and play. The game is incredible. It's not gonna be something where things are gonna be changing every time you play. It's gonna be set levels, you go through, you solve the puzzle, and you try to rescue your brother. It is such a classic trope of a game and such a fantastic presentation style that I can't help but just absolutely adore it. Dungeons of Dreadrock is normally $10. It's currently on sale for four. Just and if you love classic old school dungeon crawlers like Dungeon Master or Eye of the Beholder, like and you like rhythm-based puzzle combat games like Crypt of the Necrodancer, I cannot suggest this one enough. It is a masterpiece of a game. I always like it when a game surprises me, when it's something that I don't expect and it just kind of captures my imagination. And that is what Flat Heroes is from Parallel Circles. This is just like a really, really clever game. And I don't know how this didn't come across my radar earlier, but I was looking through the eShop for demos just to try some stuff out. I had picked up the Card Shark demo and I got suggested the Flat Heroes demo. So I grabbed it and it is incredible. It is such a fun game. You play as a square. Like, legit, you're just a square, and you only have four movements. You can run, jump, dash, and attack, and that's it. But the game is so complex and so hard to master. Like, anyone can figure out these moves, right? It's not rocket science. But you are going to be put to the test in every single level, trying to figure out where you need to go, what you need to do, how you need to hide, where you need to move your character, what walls you need to stick to. It's just... It's a lot, like it's deceptively complex for something that looks so simplistic. I really, really not only appreciate the fact that this is a fantastic single player game, it's also an unbelievable co-op game. It's not something where someone has to sit down and commit to like 20 levels or something like that. You can drop in and drop out as you go. There's 300 levels to go to, 10 bosses, and amazing, amazing different modes that you're able to play in this as well. There's survival levels versus modes, it's just a fantastic game. It is super simplistic. Like I said, this is such a basic game. When you look at it, you're just going to go, what, what's the remarkable thing about this? But I strongly urge you to grab the demo because I don't think you'll be disappointed in it. Flat Heroes is normally $9.99. It is currently on sale for $1.99. It's a wonderful title. And honestly, the thing that has excited me the most this month. I'm not a big fan of Souls type games, and I wasn't expecting to be as enthralled with this one as I am, but the more I saw of Soldiers and the more I read up on it, the more I was really excited about trying it out. And I can tell you without hesitation that I have not yet been disappointed by it. The game is properly difficult. It teeters on the border of frustration, but it never quite gets to the point where I just want to put the game down and never play it again. I want to keep moving forward to figure out how to beat an enemy, how to find a particular power-up, and use those abilities and things I discover as I play to backtrack and get to other parts of the levels that I have not been able to reach, because this is a classic Metroidvania. There are different classes for you to choose from. You can be a sword-wielding scout, you can be a magician as a caster, or you can use arrows, which is the one I prefer to play with as an archer. The combat in the game is fantastic. With the archer, you're able to use regular ranged attacks as well as being able to throw your bow in kind of a neat melee attack, like the Jedi throwing their lightsaber and having it come back to him, I think it's really cool. It's a massive world to discover and a massive world to explore. And there's just a really great story in play here too, and some really funny dialogue that's been very enjoyable. If you're a Souls fan, or if you are looking for a new Metroidvania that you have never played before, Soldiers is definitely worth picking up. This has only been out for a couple of weeks, so I'm still diving into this one, I'm still digging deep on it, but everything I have played so far in this game, I absolutely love. Soldiers is $19.99. It is a great price for a game as deep as it is, and I think you're really going to enjoy it if you like Souls games or you like Metroidvanias.
There you have it, guys. Five different eShop hidden gems that you can score for under 25 bucks. Let me know in the comments down below which one looks most exciting to you. And as always, let me know of any eShop hidden gems that you think I should be checking out because there's so many games that come out every month. I know I'm overlooking some stuff. Big thanks to my patrons that you are seeing on screen right now. And hey, if you dug this video, why don't you take a look at the playlist that's linked up here so you can see every other eShop hidden gem video that I have done over the last couple of years. Until next time, I've been Jay. Remember to play more games, stay square, and take care. I'll talk to you soon.